Faced with the skyrocketing process of feed raw materials, how should Aquafeed Enterprise respond? Since the beginning of this year, the Russia and the Ukrainian war led to food crisis and the large scale drought in South America, affected by La Nina. So, being product reduction has become a high probability event and the CBOT soybean price once rose to about 1,700 cents and reached a new high. The above mentioned reasons led to tight supply of feed raw materials and soaring raw materials price and this unfavorable background how should the aquafeed enterprise respond? Increase the use of unconventional raw materials and this favorable condition of raw material market. Easy to purchase and profit of breeding animals. Aquafeed factories must adopt the conventional formula mode such as use fish meal plus soybean meal. However, in this year, when raw materials have risen a lot and the price of breeding animals have not improved much, it increases the cost of breeding, compresses the profit of the feed factory, and even some feed factories suffer loss. Therefore, increasing the use of unconventional raw materials in the formula has become the first choice to reduce the cost of the formula. For example, chicken meal can be used to replace a small amount of super steam fish meal. In the shrimp feed formula, the use of soybean meal can be substituted by rapid seed meal, counting meal, peanut meal, even DGGS and plant protein can also be used instead of animal protein such as using soybean meal, cutting meal or peanut meal to replace fish meal or meat meal in the formula. No matter which mode, low price room material are used to replace high price room material in formula to achieve the purpose of reducing the cost. In principle, in the case, the increase of anti-nutritional factors in feed is inevitable, such as free gospel, a flight toxin B1 will cause damage to the liver and the vital organs of the aqua animals. Therefore, it's necessary to add additives to protect the liver and the intestinal health of the fish body, such as adding 0.05% to 0.1% by seed. On the one hand, it can repair damaged liver cells and maintain liver health. On the other hand, it can effectively improve liver detoxification capability. Bacid can be combined with anti-nutritional factors and mycotoxin to form non-toxic subunits to prevent secondary absorption, thereby reducing the risk of unconventional raw materials. <laughs>